so today as the president was having a conversation uh, with people on twitter uh, there were a number of people including rex who are being buried uh, these are uh, people who actually died uh, due to the police brutality that happened during the protests that were led uh, by gen z and as you can see in the video uh, among uh, the people was Boniface Mwangi and we also saw other politicians including Babowino and even uh, Sifuna who is the senator of Nairobi who attended the burial and uh, it simply means that uh, it is, uh, is, there is a way in how the opposition uh, believes uh, that this cause is uh, related with uh, what they also uh, believe in. Now, uh, the answers of this video, I, there is a, a currently growing uh, concern on the funds or the money that was contributed for the people who are injured and those who are hospitalized uh, from uh, the demonstrations. And we have seen a number of people uh, actually raising concern about the mismanagement of funds. Among the people who are actually taking the fund. I had this lady called Hanisa, and I think she was being helped by Boniface Mwangi. And uh, uh, there is this tweet from one of the bloggers who is actually looked at as the bloggers of UDA who has actually made this comment that uh, trusting Hanifa at this point is totally efforts in futility. She has completely refused to publish the names of one hospital paid. Two, private hostels paid. Three, receipts of payments made uh, for interrogation. Four, total amount collected. Five, amount remaining. Then he made the last comment. Buana, people are getting rich and you are here retreating from them from Adinjon. Eish. So uh, the basis of this discussion, I want us to interrogate that issue of manage mismanagement of funds that were actually used, uh, were actually contributed by the people who are supporting the demonstration, especially the Gen Z, and try to see if indeed the amount was mismanaged and what that means uh, for uh, the Gen Z and uh, their cause of fighting for good uh, governance. First of all, I need uh, you, if you are new to our channel, take a moment, hit that subscribe button so that we can continue with this kind of conversation. Remember, at the Socrato TV, we emphasize the fact that we uh, want people to be curious, we want people to be critical and thoughtful. Now, you need to understand, when I started this video, I said that uh, this is a UDA or a blogger who is associated with the government. So... Uh, we have, first of all, to take his comments or his uh, posts with a pinch of salt in the sense that he is likely to be aligned with the government. Therefore, uh, the fact that he's coming out to uh, talk to Hanifa or try to maybe to expose him, as that is what I think he's trying to do, uh, is we need to understand what actually is his intention, what is he aiming. And I think uh, this guy wants to discredit the fact that Hanisa has been instrumental, Hanisa and other people, the, those who are uh, actually receiving these funds and even supporting the people, have been instrumental in ensuring that this demonstration are successful and the people who are injured are actually taken care of. Why am I saying this? I'm saying this because there is not any particular post, even one which you have seen him talking good about Hanisa. In fact, he has even been going on his post and commenting very funny things. So if at any point in time, had I seen him commenting something good about Hanisa and then changed later, maybe I will have uh, considered his opinion. That is the reason I think uh, uh, he has seen, you know, that these uh, government bloggers have to use any available strategy in place uh, to ensure uh, that uh, they make this movement to die. So when you discredit one of the instrumental individuals within this movement, I know I don't mean he's, she's a leader, but he's instrumental, it simply means that it will bring about division among 
at the Gen Zs in the sense that they will now feel betrayed or they will feel like there is someone who is benefiting from this movement while they are not benefiting. Let us be very realistic here. If there is any kind of contribution, for example, that kind of contribution or such a kind of initiative, then there are some things that we all expect. We expect that this person who is receiving this a contribution may need some amount, maybe for facilitation or for movement. We don't expect him now to also call for another contribution for him to facilitate him uh, to do such things. We need, first of all, to appreciate what he has done. And we have seen that he has been paying for a lot of these people. He has visited them. We have seen a, a person like Rex. He actually, uh, about two million was contributed for his, for his, uh, to his family after he was died. And there are many other people, over 20 people have died. There are people who are injured through the hospital. And in as much as there are a number of people, I think just one who came out and complained that he has not been able to receive these funds. Most of them have received the funds. And you should also understand that uh, there are opportunistic individuals who may take this opportunity to pretend that they are injured to take the money. And uh, also considering the fact that UDA government and all their bloggers and all the people are associated with greediness, I think they are feeling or they think that because themselves are very greedy and can even eat money of, uh, uh, that is meant to be used for burials and uh, treating injured people, they think that each and every person in the society also has that kind of reasoning or that kind of mindset. So that is why they are very, very angry about the money that Hanisa was uh, was contributed and is now in hands of Anisa. We can also see that uh, the fact that now uh, the president has come in and started uh, actually uh, listening to these young people, although I, we do not really believe that he will actually implement what he said, they, they feel like they need to direct this attack at least somewhere. So they have looked at a week up point and they've seen the person to attack is Hanifa and uh, Boniface Mwangi. So for me, I think that is misguided and it is does not inspire the confidence of uh, even, it, it, it re re reduces the confidence of people who are managing uh, those resources and the aim of trying to make them look uh, not People of integrity will not succeed because I think these people have been in this kind of pressure for some time. So they understand how these things move. They understand how to uh, actually counter this kind of people and how to move forward. Remember, uh, these people were in the protest and even they risked their life. These people like Mutai, I don't uh, think they have even been in any uh, given protest. So my opinion about that is that uh, this should be ignored. We need, first of all, even if the money is mismanaged, that is not the point of contention. And if it is managed, there is a way that you can present it. You know, if Mutai, first of all, addressed the issue or, or, or actually appreciated the fact that Hanifa used them, brought about that initiative to contribute some amount of money for the people who died, then later uh, within his comment said, but uh, even though you did this and this, uh, some money has been managed, maybe I will have listened to him. But the fact that he is making Hanifa and all, the, all these people who, con who manage these resources bad, I feel like he has no good intention and it, any reasonable person or any person who has the interest of the people and the interests of the Kenyans at his heart should not listen to that kind of people. So that is my opinion about that. And um, as things move on, we'll continue to get such kind of information. We'll continue to get all kind of uh, say, understand in politics that a person can use any available uh, strategy just to ensure that they win. Whether the strategy is actually good or not, they don't care as long as they want uh, them to, uh, they, they make them to achieve their goals. So, 
please feel free to share opinion in regard to uh, what I have conversed so that we can continue this kind of deliberation. Remember at the Socrato TV, we emphasize that you need to stay curious, stay critical, and stay thoughtful. Until we meet again, bye-bye.